Welcome back to Data Shark Academy. Often you will not load the data once and forget about it. Rather, your assignment will be to load the data in continuous manner. For instance, if you are loading customer order information from a relational database to Hadoop, then since new orders keep coming daily, you need to define a process that can incrementally load the new Delta data every day. Luckily, Scoop supports this kind of use cases out of the box. For this to work, you need to specify three directives. Check column directive, which is used to tell Scoop which column in source table to look for new values. This column should not be of type character, varchar, and long varchar. Next directive that you need is incremental. This has two defined values, append and last modified. We will first look at an example of last modified in this lesson. This directive helps Scoop in determining which records are new in a specified column. Third and the last directive is the last value, which is used to pass the last value up to which the records were loaded before. It's like a checkpoint on your data import. Let's look at some examples next to understand this in more detail as it will be the most important part of this course. All right, so let's run the scoop import again and I will use the option file table employees target directory is scoop employees incremental inc and the check column is higher date okay remember we cannot use var car car and long car values for this director incremental last modified and the last value will be 1987-0203 so it will only import the data after this date okay and in the end we need append now why do we need append because this is a case of incremental load so you don't want to clean the existing data you want to add to it so i am simulating a scenario where we are assuming that there is already scoop that was ran before and we loaded everything that was before 1987 february 3rd so all these records were loaded before i'm just assuming for this exercise but when we run this now what it will do is it will load the data after this date and append it to the existing data set. In real world scenario, you will have a kind of a streaming data, which is coming, you know, every minute, hour, daily, based on what kind of data it is. And you are running this process in a scoop job, not as what we are doing now, but it, it will be a recurring process, okay, from your end also. And uh, I will show you how to create scoop jobs for those kind of cases. But for now, just try to understand that how this overall works. Okay. So let's run this. So here you can see in the debug that it has identified this as an incremental import on column higher date. The last value was this and the upper value will be the system date uh, as of now. So anything that was provided in the last value column, it will take that range up to today's system time. Let's discuss this a little bit more. Okay. So what is happening here is you have a last value that you specified. Okay, you are telling Scoop that I have the data before this date, now import everything after this. So what Scoop is doing, it's setting the minimum value for that query to have the last value as the value that you provided. That is the minimum value. 
and for the maximum value will be your system date and time as of now when you are running this query that's why in the end when this is over you are seeing that it is giving you that the last value now is 2018 okay and it's asking you to save this value because next time you run the same process your last value will be this value okay so this is a kind of a tedious process and you are supposed to maintain this value somewhere every time you're running the job and that is why we don't do it this way in real world you will be using scoop job and i will show you later in this course how that can be done let's look at the data now so our data is in this scoop employees and see all right so our data is there hmm. and uh, let's get some values all right so anything that you see here is after 1987 february 3rd so only those records are pulled up and if you had paid attention to the size of the data that we had imported earlier was a little bit larger than this and it's because we are not importing everything in this exercise we are only importing values which are having higher date greater than 1987 february 3rd okay so this is how incremental load works and if you run it again and set the date to some other values then you will see those records will be appended to your data set and the way it is done is it will create new files in the end it will not go and add to the existing file but new file will be added as an exercise what you can do now is you can add some new records in mysql in your employees table add some records with higher date greater than your system date okay if you are running it in February, say 2019, so set a date greater than that after you have run it for once because your system date will be set according to according to that and all the data before it is already being imported. Okay, so you need a date larger than that. So add some records in your employees table and run this again. And this time set the last value to the value that it gave you the last time. Okay, and you'll see that only those Delta records will be added to your data set. So try this out as an exercise. And if you have any questions or any doubts, let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next class.